Today we're checking out SML movie Jeffy's Penny. Let's dive right on in. So guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, I know. We should go to the arcade and play games. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, dude. Does anyone have any quarters? No, dude. I'm poor. I swallowed one a week ago, and I've been digging in my poop trying to find it, and I haven't found it yet. Uh, oh. I have some. Let me see. Uh, I have four quarters, two nickels, and a penny. Why do you have a penny? I don't know. Who even uses pennies anymore? Hey, dude, you know if you throw a penny from the top of the Empire State Building, you could kill someone? Nuh uh. Yeah, dude. No, it's true. The oh, boy. From the pennies like a bullet. Let's try it. Well, yeah, yeah, that'd be so cool. We should try it. Yeah. But, guys, we'd have oh, to go boy. to New York City. Why do you have to go to New York City? Because that's where the Empire State Building is. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Look, I don't know my structures and geography and stuff. Look, look, look. How about we just use this money to buy our plane tickets to go to New York City? What, Junior, this isn't 1950. You can't buy plane tickets. Tickets for 25 cents. Well, let's ask Chef PB to buy his plane tickets to New York City. I highly doubt Chef PB. Yeah, he's not gonna let you. All of us to go to New York City. Well, we well he's gonna go. use that money to Hello, live. Man. I'm so excited. Hawaii, here I come. Hey, Chef PB. No, not right now, Junior. I'm packing my bags for Hawaii. How can you afford to go to Hawaii? <laughs> Check this out. I sold one of my kidneys for $5,000. Why would you sell one of your kidneys? You have two kidneys, Junior, and I don't need this one, so I sold it. For, for $5,000? Yep, so I'm gonna pack my bags for Hawaii. <laughs> this is gonna be a blast. Now, all I need is my money. <gasps> Wait, where's my money? I need my money. It was right here. Where is it? I have to sell it. You're gonna have to sell. See, Cody, I told you Chef PP was gonna pay for us to go to New York City. We stole his money. I would say we borrowed it. Well, do you intend on giving it back? No. Then we stole it. Listen, Cody. When yeah, you that's stealing. Go to New York City. He's gonna know it's for a good cause. It's not for a good cause. We might kill somebody. In the name of science. It's a size experiment, Cody. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the top of the Empire State Building and throw a penny off and see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Junior! Uh, hey, Chef PP, what's up? Have you seen yeah. the money? Oh, oh, the money that was on the kitchen counter? Yes. Uh, no, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> well, I, I need my money. I'm trying Come to Come on, Junior. Oh, well, listen, I, I just, I don't know where your money is. Wait, wait, why are you laying down like that? Uh, because my back hurts, man. I'm tired. Well, well get up. Uh, I, I can't get up because, uh. Because uh, me and Junior were about to make out. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, we were. And I haven't brushed my teeth in over a week. Oh, uh, boy. Up. Well, then you might as well stand up then. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Cody, kiss me. Yeah. Ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Cody, why would you do that? <laughs> Jim, yeah. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to smooch you. All right, listen. Let's bro, take this. bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Oh, my God, do they're it, actually... Do it. All right. Yeah. Ow. What? Hey. Uh oh Hey, did you just throw a penny off this? It was him, it was him. You're going to jail. Aww. Wow. Marvin, have you heard from Jeffy? No, he's probably in his room. Who's texting me? Oh, Jeffy just said he threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone. What? Hey there. Oh, officer, what's going on? Well, your son just threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because I wanted to see if you would kill someone. Don't say that in front of the officer. Too late. I already heard it. Your son's being yep. charged with involuntary attempted manslaughter. Is he going to jail? Probably. But yep. I didn't die, although he is suing Jeffy for the boo-boo he sustained. Marvin, we have to get a lawyer. Really? We can't hire a good lawyer. We don't have the money. How about a bad one? What? I'm a lawyer. Not a very good one, but I'm cheap. How much do you charge? What do you got? Uh, we don't really have anything. Hmm, okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, if I win, you take me out to Applebee's and you let me buy whatever I want. Applebee's? Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeffy's gonna yes. win. Suckers! Come on, Jeffy, let's go to court. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poobie. Boomer. And today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy Jeffy. Versus Pooby. No relation to me whatsoever. D there's, two po there's two poobies. Of involuntary attempted manslaughter. And Pooby is suing him for one million dollars in personal harm. Prosecution. Proceed the prosecution exam. Your Honor, my client. Looking good, Pooby. <laughs> he is he is <laughs> sexy. Continue. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, my client Pooby was innocently walking down a New York City street when all of a sudden, BAM! Abraham Lincoln, in coin form, fell from the sky and clocked my client right in the noggin. Right there is where he got hit. Now Pooby, tell me. What yep. were your thoughts when that happened? I know it might be hard to remember considering that the coin has caused memory loss. Well, wait, I did he actually get a concussion from it? Did you get I mean, we don't know if Poopy actually did get a concussion, but 
What if he did? What if that penny can actually give people concussions? Aha! Guilty! I'm sorry. I didn't hear a single word you said. I was too distracted by that ghastly wound on his head. Could you cover it up with a bandage or something? Can someone pass me some damn band-aids, please? Jeffy, pass him some band-aids. Okay. Ow! You see that? He has a throwing problem! Guilty! But no, your client just needs to learn how to catch. Yep. There you go, booby. Can you kiss it and make it better? <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful sight to see. Continue! Your Honor, my client is suffering from severe headaches and migraines ever since the penny struck him in the head. He is now blind in his left eye. Close your left eye. Because the penny... Oh, right wow, 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 wow. And he lost the vision in his Come on, eye. Goodman, also, you're better than this. Women won't even go on dates with him because of that hideous scar in his head. I tell him that I got in a fight with a bear, but they don't believe me. We think Jesse it's a lie. threw the penny at my client to cause these damages. Mm, very persuasive, prosecutor. Defense attorney, you better have a very good reason why I should not bang my gavel and call your client guilty this very instant. Go! Your Honor, right. my client is just a curious little 17-year-old child who heard a rumor that if you throw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building, it'll kill someone. Now, what child do you know that wouldn't jump at the chance to commit manslaughter in the name of science? I know my daughter certainly would. So yeah, that... you're saying he did it thinking he would kill someone? As for, like, educational. Like an educational thing. Just a premeditated attempted manslaughter instead of involuntary manslaughter. But he was no, trying no, to learn no, something. My client was simply trying to bust the myth that a penny could kill someone if thrown from the top of the Empire State Building, which he obviously did bust it because the penny hit that man and he didn't die. So Jeffy just busted the myth. That makes him a myth buster. Now, should myth busters go to jail? No. They should get no. their own show called Mythbusters. Hmm, yes. I do like that show. It is a good show. How do you feel about the television show Mythbusters? Isn't it quite entertaining? It's it's okay. Your Honor, it's good. I have proof. Go watch Jeffy Mythbusters. It's a good show. Myth. He was intentionally trying to hit someone with a penny. Right here is a screenshot that I have taken from Jeffy's phone. It is a conversation between him and his friend Junior. I will now read the conversation. Jeffy says, I can't wait to throw the penny off the Empire State Building. Junior then says, yeah, it's going to be so cool. Eggplant. Eggplant. Jeffy then says, I hope we nail some fool with it. My client being that fool. Then Junior says, yeah, he will be in so much pain. Black Santa Claus. Jeffy Black says, Santa Claus. Bumpin' noggins. Two money bag emojis. Your Honor, I think my client deserves two money bag emojis for his pain and suffering. Hmm. Defense attorney, what I am seeing is very troubling to your gaze. You'd better defend your little ass off. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Brooklyn. But I have this. This is a picture of the Empire State Building. Now I have a question. How many people visit the Empire State Building every day? Hundreds? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Well, probably not that many, but a lot of people do. And how many of those people throw pennies from the top of the Empire State Building? At least a few. So Just a few. So how do you know that penny that hit your client belonged to Jeffy and not Steve or Bob or someone we don't know? I happen to know Bob and Steve, and they would never do such a thing, but many people will. But who are Bob and Ste me Steve? That Unless that those are the myth actual myth mm, busters. That is true. I have thrown many a penny in my day. Prosecutor, cute the process. Your Honor, I have just the evidence we need to close this case. I've taken more screenshots from Jeffy's phone. These are text messages between Jeffy and his dad. Jeffy says, Hey, Daddy, I threw a penny off the Empire State Building and hit someone, admitting that he hit someone. Jeffy's dad then says, No, you didn't, didn't Jeffy. Jeffy. Were, Were you, you trying just to hit, hit the guy? Then Jeffy says, will I be grounded if I say yes? Yes. Jeffy's dad replies, <laughs> yes. And then Jeffy says, yes. Skull emoji. <laughs> hmm. Defense attorney, it looks like you've been backed into a corner. How will you get out? 
Well, I think maybe my client needs to stop sending text messages. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to take a picture of the guy so I can send it to my daddy and tell him this is the guy I was trying to hit with the penny. G -g give me that. We're uh, trying to uh, hit. Uh, my, my client would like to uh, plead insanity. That's it. He's insane. Didn't know what he was doing. Uh, insane in the membrane. <laughs> you heard that song? Uh, 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 no, I, I, I got it. Uh, well, we haven't heard from the penny in all of this. Jeffy threw the penny, but how do we know that the penny didn't choose to hit that man? It, it could have hit anybody, so why did it pick him? Huh? I think mm -hmm. we should be talking to the penny. Let's call the penny in here. Mm, yes, good point. Where is the penny that was used in the assault? It's right here, Your Honor. You see that? My client's scared of pennies and shit. But I don't know. Oh wow, he's penny phobia. He doesn't talk. It's sitting here, not doing anything. Doesn't have a mind of its own. Can't make decisions. But who's on the penny? Honest Abe. He can't tell a lie, and he's under oath. That's double the truth telling. Your Honor, I want to question that penny. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. You're not actually going to entertain this, are you? Hmm. Hmm. I want to see where this goes. Prosecutor, hand him the penny. Here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask this penny a few questions. Now, Penny, did Jeffy throw you from the top of the Empire State Building to try to hit that guy? Yeah. Shut the hell up, Abe. Why well, just lie? I can't. Not when I'm holding the penny. The power of Abe compels me. All right, I've seen enough of this nonsense. Jeffy is guilty. Yes, we won. We yep. won. We're going to be able to fix your head and your vision. Woo! Uh, think fast. Ow. Run! Ah. Oh, wow. Kill them. Marvin, how do you think the court case is going? They ran. Hopefully that lawyer's doing his job. Hey, hey, we won the case. So let's go to Applebee's. Come on, hurry up. Let's go right now. Wait, really? wait, wait, we won? Yeah, we did. They dropped all the charges. So get your ass in the car. Let's go to Applebee's. Well, I, I have questions. Okay, we can talk about it at Applebee's. Let's go. Ooh, I want the chicken wonton tacos. Yep, me too. So let's go. Let's go to Applebee's. Yeah. Right but I have so many questions. Yeah, that's okay. We can talk about it. Look at Jeffy's face. Sticks at Applebee's. So come on. Marvin, we can turn on the news real quick. No, no, no. We don't need to do that because Applebee's has TV. So come on, let's go right now. Why are you in a rush to go to Applebee's? Applebee's. Because I want to get there before they close. Well, it's only six o'clock at night. Yeah, but this is this is Applebee's. They got the dinner rush. I, I oh yeah. Good table. I, I have a special spot. You totally got to go to Applebee's. Oh, come on, chop, chop. Let's go. Okay. Oh man, I am eating good in the neighborhood. Thanks for the Applebee's, man. I mean, you deserve it for winning the case. What, what are you talking about? I lost. Oh, oh, oh the case. Yes, I, I did win that. I, hey, hey, cheers for me winning the case. <laughs> and, and waitress, could you refill my cup, please? This is empty. I thought we lost. Wait, shut the hell up and eat your chicken fingers. Ooh, I can't wait to eat my oh, chicken yeah. wonton tacos. No, 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 just slow down there, fatty. Maybe eat your salad instead. I might oh. Want to eat later. You can't eat all this food. Oh, yes, I can. A good lawyer is a hungry lawyer. That's what my mom always Always said. Look, the news is on. Oh, don't don't pay attention to that. Hey, hey, look at this artichoke dip, huh? It's they nah, really they're gonna look at the news. Can we fill the goddamn bowl, please? You know? <laughs> Wait, the news is on. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry about that. Just look at my steak. What's up with this steak? Huh? It's like a hockey puck. It's so overcooked. Uh-oh. Breaking news, okay? I want a court case where a man got hit in the head by a penny that was thrown from the top of the Empire State Building. Yep. We have an exclusive interview with the man now. So, sir, now that you've won your lawsuit, what are you going to do with all that money? Well, I'm terrified of pennies now, but I melted that penny down and turned it into the lenses on these sunglasses. Hmm. Ooh. And with the leftover copper, I turned that bitch into a car. You turned it oh. into a car? Oh! Yep. Suck it, pennies. <laughs> Ow! Curse you, pennies! You lost! No, c come on, that's that that's fake news. Somebody somebody should report them for reporting fake news. Oh man, I do have to use the bathroom though. Oh man, my stomach has just been hurting me all day long, and you know I had that whole drink earlier. So, and by the way, can I get a refill for that, please? Thank you. You know, so I, I think I'm just gonna use the bathroom just real quick. Hey, are you gonna eat that burger? Yes. No, you're not. I'm gonna do that. Thank you. And then, uh, you know, I'll be back in about 15 minutes or so. But you got the bill, right? You're paying for this? What? Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. What? Oh. Wow. <laughs> what is the dumbest thing you have gotten in trouble for? Uh, t -t 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 probably I got in trouble for just sitting. Um, yeah, that's probably the most stupidest thing ever. Got in trouble for sitting. Like, bruh. 
How'd you get in trouble for sitting?